Greetings, mortals. Welcome to another community phase. Uh, we've got some fantastic news coming out of the Warhammer community website. Uh, latest article previews, uh, amongst other things, the Age of Sigmar 2.0 starter set called Soul Wars, kicking off the next campaign and revealing all of the kind of things, the goodies that are going to be available in the next starter set. Uh, so why don't we uh, kind of dig into... Um, what's going to be available, what we're going to see, and uh, show you a little bit of a preview. I'll also have links below to the article and to Warhammer TV's YouTube channel where you see some unboxing as well. Um, so let's dig into it. Um, first of all, you can kind of see here some of the, they've got this cool graphic uh, of, of things that are going to be available in the starter set. There's 54 miniatures. There's a start here book uh, for new players for being introduced. There's a core rule book that's 320 pages. We'll get into that a little bit more. There's the Battle of Glim's Forge booklet. Um, there's some uh, new goodies in here uh, that we'll, we'll see in just a minute, but they've got this cool kind of uh, breakout graphic. You can see the, the slip cover with the box inside that allows you to kind of maybe some carry some things, so maybe they're going that route with it. Um, but we'll see more in just a minute. Uh, first thing uh, that is going to be in here is they're going to have over 50, or they have 54 models in here. Um, the one side is going to be the newest uh, Stormcast Eternal um, Sacrosanct Chamber, and this is led by the Lord Arcanum on Griff Charger. It's fantastic. I love the Griff Charger models. Glad to see another model riding a Griff Charger, an alternate uh, Griff Charger model as well. Um, the Knight Incantor down at the bottom of this uh, screen is a magic user. Both of these are magic users, so we're introducing Stormcast Wizards into the into the mix. Uh, to the right of the Encantor is the Evocators. There's three of them here. It's possible that this is a five-man unit like the Palad uh, Paladins um, that we got in the previous starter box. So maybe um, they are going to have um, other kits coming out, these separate uh, at some point. Um, so it could be that kind of thing. We've got five Castigators, which are kind of a mortar. Um, they, they shoot these fire crystalline bombs that explode with magical energies, which is pretty awesome. Um, upper, upper left, we have the Sequidors. Um, these are our kind of a, potentially a battle line for this uh, Sacrosanct Chamber, um, and they're hitting with some sort of like sharp ball, uh, which I would not want to be hit at. Almost worse to be hit by something like that than, than a hammer, it feels like. Um, and then down below in the lower left, we've got the Celestar Ballista. Um, new first artillery piece in the Age of Sigmar. Um, and interesting that they still have them, the bases separate between, you've got two engineers there with them. And uh, uh, be interesting to see how artillery rules maybe change um, to work with multiple models. Next, we've got the Night Haunt, um, led by a Knight of Shrouds on Ethereal Steed, a Lord Executioner with the Hangman's Noose, the Guardian of Souls, uh, which is a Night Haunt wizard, um, one of the first wizards in the Night Haunt army as well, and then the Guardian of Soul, um, so then the Spirit Torment, uh, which is this kind of very grumpy uh, ghost who swings around these padlocks like uh, like uh, um, star star maces. Um, uh, so you know that's uh, pretty cool. We've got uh, the spirit, uh, sorry, the Grimgast Reapers, which are kind of, kind of the 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 kind of Grim Reaper type thing that you've uh, come to know and love. We've got the Glaive Wraith Stalkers, which are in the upper right. They kind of have a hunchback um, and are known. Where in life they were assassins, but in death they are just uh, blood lusting berserker types. Um, and then uh, down at the bottom, we've got 20 Chain Rasps. So it seems like yet another uh, potential Horde-style unit for, um, for death. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, and uh, these models are, are captivating. Um, there's some more that are, that are coming uh, they, in this article. They reveal some more, and I'll have another video kind of talking through and thinking through what some of these uh, images might show us for um, what else might be coming besides the models in the starter set. But let's just keep on the starter set. In addition to that, um, to note, they, they note that all of the models in the starter set, even these complex heroes, are push fit. And they've gone to great lengths to make sure that these are easy to assemble, easy to put together, um, and that, uh, that they'll be getting them off the sprue and onto the table in no time. This is fantastic news for new players. 
if you are a uh, more advanced hobbyist, uh, if you are a, you know working at conversions, these may not be up your alley, um, but um, you can you can be sure that they're going to be highest quality when you get them together, um, and it looks fantastic. So again, in addition to the starter start here book, the core rules and the the uh, battle for Glim Forge, I think it was. Um, We've got a ruler, we've got dice, uh, looks like there's no icons on the dice, and we've got uh, the knight in Cantor, or sorry, we've got the, the um, war scroll cart, which is new for uh, Age of Sigmar, and there's some you know, hope that these kind of expand and cover all of, uh, the, at least the Age of Sigmar releases, um, and any future releases uh, that would uh, come together. Um, What's most exciting, I think, is the the introduction of the core rulebook, um, which isn't something that we've seen uh, in Age of Sigmar yet. We thought maybe that was a long past kind of um, artifact of a bygone era because we've got the General's Handbook every year. Now they're still going to be doing General's Handbook 18, um, and so I'll talk about that in another uh, video. But here we've got the core rulebook. It's 320 pages. The first half of that is updating the lore. It's uh, telling us about what the mortal realms are like, um, where are we, um, what are the what makes each realm differently. It'll teach, show us how to, um, uh, you know, kind of different maps, um, different uh, players, different stories, etc. Um, and then the second half of the book is rules, um, things to help play different games. Uh, and it will be talking about that structure of match play, narrative, and open play. It will have uh, scenarios. It will have um, uh, times of war for each of the realms. It will have um, magic uh, and artifacts, magic lores and artifacts for playing in those realms, for modeling your army from those realms, etc. And then uh, um, kind of go through all those things to helping us play more games in this setting, uh, finding a narrative fun in the Age of Sigmar. Now, there's more uh, information to come. Uh, I will link to the article below and the uh, Stormcast uh, video podcast uh, uh, as well. Please like the video if you enjoyed seeing a little bit of, of that. Um, my take on this is uh, that this is going to absolutely energize everybody in this hobby. Not only the um, you know people who like the, to play the game, but those who like the hobby in it, those who like the lore in it. This is going to flesh it out. This is going to get us a deeper dive into the, the Mortal Realms than we've ever seen before. And obviously here at the Mortal Realms, we love to dig into that narrative. We love to dig into the lore. Um, so when this comes out, we're certainly going to have a spoiler uh, kind of podcast book review of this so you can kind of get more into the lore. Um, with a book this size, we aren't going to be able to spoil everything <laughs> or tell you everything that's in it. Um, but we're going to hit the highlights. We're going to hit the things that, that maybe are the biggest game changers uh, for thinking about the, age of the the mortal realms going forward. So, again, like this video if, uh, if you enjoyed this uh, preview recap. Uh, subscribe if you are looking forward to um, kind of seeing more on the releases upcoming. Um, we're going to have some more videos on what is uh, Skirmish going to look like in Age of Sigmar 2.0. We're going to have some videos on um, kind of some leaks on maybe a new Lord Celestant and the, the Mortark of, of Grief. Um, so uh, subscribe and keep uh, up to date with what we're doing um, uh, in the upcoming days and weeks. So thank you again. Uh, adios, mortals. Uh, we'll talk to you soon.